Hey guys, so um, I'm recording this new video because I have been <clears throat> struggling with uh, my father's issues for quite some time. I have posted a video before that my father has um, the illness. He has um, Parkinson's. So, um, he went to a doctor and the doctor told him that it's a very strange case of Parkinson's uh, and they're not sure what exactly this is, but for some reason they told him to go uh, and get some scans, but not now, but some scans in a half, half a year. So scans of the brain because there is two explanations for the hand shaking that he has either it's Parkinson's and because it's de again the reason the doctor gave is that because it's developing so slowly um, they need to take this uh, scan of the brain only um, half a year later because it's developing developing so slowly so they will only see some signs of actual Parkinson's disease just a half a year later and also uh, this could not be uh, uh, Parkinson's disease this could be a uh, stroke he could have had a stroke and it could be a micro stroke and it could be the reason of the hand shaking that he has but something is something about the story I'm not buying either the doctor is stupid or my father told me something that's not true but no doctor ever would want to wait half a year to take the scans and I think they should have taking some scans immediately to see what's wrong so I'm again uh, don't hate me for calling the doctor stupid don't write mean comments for me calling the doctor stupid because I, I'm not a doctor again I should not be saying that I know but I just something about this I'm not buying I think that the doctor should have taken some scans immediately to figure out what's wrong if it's a stroke then if the longer you wait the worse it gets that's what I think, at least. They told me, he told me that the doctor prescribed him some medicine to take only if the hand shaking is unbearable. And it is unbearable right now because for me it's unbearable to watch. My father's hand shakes like this, violently, like this. He walks around with his hand shaking like this, violently, and it's incredible incredibly difficult to watch and just today he said he was feeling so bad that he was on the verge of calling the ambulance and told me that if I that should be ready if he needed me to call the ambulance and I was mid-lesson teaching a lesson to child listening to the door of him just listening if he if he would fall down so that I could can, you know jump up r run to the other room catch him or call the ambulance immediately if he fell down that's all that I'm thinking about these days and I almost had a heart attack on Sunday because we were celebrating his birthday and as we were celebrating his birthday as we were sitting in the room uh, he went he got too drunk and went to sleep and I hear a thump and I immediately jump up and my family runs into the room where he went to sleep and it turns out he just fell off the bed and they were laughing oh my god he fell off the bed ha 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 but I don't think that's funny because the fact that he fell off the bed means that he is so sick that he just falls off the bed now because he never falls off the bed and I don't think that's funny I don't think that's the incident where you should laugh and say that oh he fell off the bed because he's drunk no I think that he fell off the bed because he's sick he's 
basically been dying for the past year. He's getting worse every single day and I don't know what to feel. I don't know what to think. I don't know how to think about it. Tomorrow I'm going to the therapist. He called me in earlier because he could not take me on the, on, you know, on the Friday. So he called me in his office earlier. So I'm going to talk to him about that. But my father is dying slowly and I don't know what to do. It's not just his hand. His whole health is horrible. His blood pressure goes up all the time to 180, 160. And he takes medicine for it. He doesn't sleep in the same bed as my mother. He sleeps on a couch in another room because he feels better on a couch because it's closer to the door, because of the, closer to the kitchen, closer to the bathroom. So in case he feels bad, he can just go. And I don't know what to do. Oh, and if you want to ask me about this, I went to an aviary where there was a lot of parrots. And I had, if you guys remember, if somebody is very atten attentive, they know that I had a birthmark over here. Yeah, bird bit it off. So I had to remove it. And I'm, I'm curing it with the Russian traditional medicine. The pink stuff, the Russian traditional medicine. It's a reference to the song I did in, in the beginning of my channel. Anyway, thank you guys for listening and I hope that my father is not dying and I'm just exaggerating it, but I need your opinion on this. Okay, ciao.